Hello everyone, this is Professor Capco. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about calculating simple interest. Simple interest is what we're going to calculate today and we're going to do a series on calculating interest and this should make it a little bit easier for you to do so. If you like this type of content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's free and it really helps out on the algorithm. All right, in this word problem, Joe invested $1,000 in an account that pays 3% simple interest. This is as opposed to compound interest where it keeps compounding. This is just simple interest. How much will he have in the account at the end of five years? Well, the first thing we need is the formula for simple interest. So I equals P R T is that formula. And since these num these letters are right next to each other, that just means they're multiplied by each other, right? P R T. Well, what do these all mean? Well, the I in this is interest. In other words, how much interest does this account earn? The P is the principal, and that's spelt with a P-A-L, and uh, that is the amount that you put into the account, or in the case of a loan, it's the amount that you borrowed. The R is equal to the rate, in other words, the interest rate, and the T is equal to time how much time is the money at work. So we're gonna gather the information from each of these and then we're gonna apply it into our formula. So the amount of interest, that's what we're trying to figure out. So we don't know that right now. The principal is the $1,000, the $1,000 that Joe put in there. The rate is 3%. However, we're gonna write it as a decimal so we can work with it, which is 0 0.03. In other words, we move the decimal place over two places or we divide it by 100. I've got a whole video on how to convert decimals to, to percentages, percents and from percents to decimals. So check that out. I've got a link uh, posted here. And time is the amount of time that the money is at work. In this case, it's five years. All right, we're going to apply this to our formula. And I'm actually going to show you two ways to do this. And we have the principal. So I'm going to, I'm, I like using boxes. That's our principal. And we're going to multiply it by our rate. And we're going to multiply it by our time. I just use the boxes because that way I can label them. And then we can fill in the, the amounts from above here. We don't know the amount of interest. That's what we're trying to figure out. The principal is $1,000. So I'm going to put the 1,000 there. The rate, we already determined we're going to write it as a decimal, 0 0.03. And the time, in this case, is five years. So the first thing we need to do after we filled it all in is we're going to put that into our calculator. I like to use this calculator. And we're going to go ahead and do the multiplication. So we have 1,000. And we're going to multiply it by 0 0.03. And we're going to multiply it by 5. And that gives us interest of $150. That's the amount of interest that's earned over that time period. However, we have to be careful because that's not what the question asked. The question did not just ask how much interest was earned. The question is how much will he have in the account? So we have to add to it the principal amount. So we have the $1,000 that he started with. We're going to add the 150 that he earns in interest. And that means at the end of five years, he's going to have $1,150 in that account. That is the correct answer. That is one way to calculate it. And you have to remember to add the principal back in. Make sure you check what the question is asking for. I'm going to show you another way to do this in that you can have it automatically put the interest right in with the principal. Let me show you that method. Well, same facts, 
but we're going to use a slightly different formula. This formula is A equals P parentheses 1 plus R T close parentheses. One good thing about this formula is it's going to be a little bit more similar to the one you're going to use for compound interest. So everything is going to be the same. P is the principal, R is the rate, T is the time. The only thing here is we have a 1 here and A. A stands for the amount, the total amount in the account. So that's the total amount that we wind up the principal plus the interest. We have the everything else is going to be the same numbers, but we're going to fill it into this new formula. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. We've got A is equal to, and I'm going to have a box here for P for principal. Parentheses, when it's right up next to the parentheses, that means multiply. 1 plus, have a box for our rate. We have a box for our time. And we're going to close parentheses. Let's fill in the information. We know the principal is 1,000. We know the rate, and we're putting it as a decimal, 0 0.03, and our time is still five years. Now, because we had some parentheses involved, we have to remember to use PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, for our order of operations. I have done a whole video on that, and I've got a link to that in uh, the corner there, so click on that if you need a refresher on that. So. From that, from order of operations, we know we need to work inside the parentheses first, and we know we need to do multiplication before we do division. So we're going to multiply first because the 0.03 times 5. I'm going to use my handy calculator for that, 0 0.03 times 5 equal to, and my calculator gives it as a fraction, but you can easily hit this button right here and it changes it to a decimal. So 0 0.15 is what I get when I multiply 0 0.3, 0 0.03 to multiply it by 5. I'm going to put plus 1 here, close parentheses, and I still have 1,000 on the outside here. And this is still all equal to our total amount. We're still working in the parentheses. The next thing to do, I'm going to add 1 to the 0 0.15. So that becomes 1.15, and that's still in the parentheses. On the outside, I still have the 1,000, and that's equal to my A, which is the total amount. The next step is we're going to multiply the 1,000 times the 1.15. So I have my calculator. I'm going to do 1,000 times 1.15, and that is equal to an A of 1,150. And as you may recall, that is the same amount we got up here. So we get the same result with a slightly different formula. This one already adds the principal back in. That's what that one plus is all about. It's adding the principal back in on the front end. That way you don't have to remember to add it at the end. So that is two different ways to calculate simple interest. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, place them in the comments and I'll check those out. And if you have some ideas for an additional video, some type of math or accounting or business or law that you need help with or anything else, let me know and I'll try and create a video for you. In the meantime, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. We also have some merch down below if you check out the um, Professor Capco store listed in the uh, comment section in the in the description section and I've got some other ways that you can support this channel but the biggest way you can support this channel is by subscribing so keep your grade alive and subscribe until next time this is Professor Capco